Hi, my name is Chase Ballard. I'm Section's Lead AI Consultant. Today, I'm going to walk you through a tutorial about how to use Claude projects to efficiently convert your newsletter content into LinkedIn posts. So what we're going to cover today is setting up your Claude project. We're going to talk about creating your custom instructions for your project, the examples you're going to need with your content and your style, and then finally show you how to generate the LinkedIn post from the newsletters. So this method is really great for content repurposing, so taking your newsletter and making it chunkable. So you can put this on LinkedIn, but this could also be used on X to create threads or other platforms that you might be posting to. It's particularly useful for marketers or entrepreneurs or anyone that's managing content channels or taking a newsletter or a long form piece of content and getting some engagement on one of these platforms. So let's jump straight into Claude and let's talk about how you can expand your content's reach by automating the generation of these LinkedIn posts. So one of the things that you're going to need is a Claude Pro or Claude Teams account. So this will not work on the Claude free uh, version. So you're going to need to pay the $20 a month at least to get started. So we've got the Claude interface here and let's actually just go ahead and create our project with nothing in it. And then I'll walk you through what a project is and why it's important for this. So on the left hand side, I'm going to select projects and here I've got a list of all my projects and we're going to go in the upper right hand corner and click create project. So I'm going to name this LinkedIn post writer and I'm going to just describe what it actually does. So generate LinkedIn posts from newsletter content, fix my spelling here. And I'm going to create my project. If you're on a Teams, you can select the visibility. If you're on the Pro account, it'll just be visible to you. So I'm going to click Private for now and click Create Project. So the great thing about projects is it offers a dedicated workspace that really goes beyond just chatting with Claude in a normal use case. So each of these projects has its own chat history, a knowledge base, and it really creates this focused environment for a specific task or topic. In this case, it's going to be writing LinkedIn post. So we can provide it with a lot of rich content in our project knowledge, and we can even set up custom instructions, which allow us to fine tune the behavior for each of our projects. So in this case, we're going to really push it to use our tone and our style in this. So in the interface, we've got our Claude chat over here. This is where we're actually going to use the prompt to generate our content. And then we've got our custom instructions here and our project knowledge. So let's hop over to this Word doc that we're going to link in the show notes here. So I talked about how you need the Pro or Teams account. You're going to need two to three examples of your newsletter content. And then you're going to need two to three examples of LinkedIn posts that are associated with that newsletter content. So these are things that you've written as a human that we want to feed into Claude to give it a basis for our tone and style. So we've got our custom instructions here, which is referencing what's called our examples.txt file. These are the examples that have our tone and our style that we want to replicate. And then we've given some instructions on how it should analyze the content, plan the post, write the post, and then use our tone and our style to match what's in the content that we give it as an example. And then we've also got a concept here to give it a little bit of information about how it's thinking about writing the post. And then we've bound the response to 150 to 250 words. In this document, you also see project knowledge. I'll show you what this looks like. But in between these two tags right here is where you're going to put your example newsletter. And then you're going to put the corresponding LinkedIn post between these two tags. And then finally, we've got our prompt that we're going to use to actually initiate the content generation. So let's go ahead and copy in our custom instructions here and get that set up. So we're going to click set custom instructions and paste this in. That's all we have to do and we can save the instructions. And let's take you over to the example file and show you what I've done. So I've pasted the whole text of the newsletter in this first tag in between these first tags newsletter underscore one. And then in LinkedIn post one. I've also pasted the post that we've written previously. So I want to mimic these two things when I ask it to generate the LinkedIn post. All I've done is simply exported this. So I've gone into file and then download as a .txt file that I'm going to upload. So let's go back into Claude. We've got our uh, custom instructions set up. So let's add our content. So I'm going to drag in my examples.txt file here. And then let's actually go back to our document. And let's get our prompt. So this is the prompt we're going to use to start the chat. 
basically just telling it to write the, the LinkedIn post for us. And then let's go actually get our new newsletter content that we want to turn into the LinkedIn post. So all I've done here is just grab the text from this Google Doc, and we're just going to paste that into the chat here. So if I go here and hit Command V, it's pasted in here. So I'm going to hit Send, and we're going to let it generate. So the first thing it's doing is writing the information in this thinking tag. So it's talking about the strategy, the main points, the tone, and how we're going to close it. So what I'm going to do is this is the actual LinkedIn post here. So I'm going to copy this out. And we're actually going to go over and do a little comparison. So on the left here, we've got the actual content that we wrote and posted on LinkedIn. And then we've got the Claude post on the right. So you can see that it's followed my writing style pretty well. If I go through this, it's given some background information about how the CEO has been a CEO six times over, and here's what he wished he knew in his 30s. And then it gives a bulleted list and then says a, a piece of advice, right? So you want to be CEO someday, start honing these skills. So this is a little different than what's on the left here that the human wrote. But one of the great things about this is for each newsletter that I post, I can quickly get a version of the post from Claude that's 90% of the way there. And I can go back through and start iterating on this. And I'm not starting from a blank page each time. If you're posting content super frequently, like every week or every other week, this is a really great way for you to offload some of that rote task of taking the content, synthesizing it into a post to drive engagement, and then doing that over and over again.